Y'all, y'all, y'all ready for this? Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Sports Playoff Edition. My name is Rev Trev and I'm pumped about today's video because today I'm going to be talking about the NFC and AFC Championship Games. Wow, we're down to the bottom, the, the, the not the bottom, the top four teams in the league. And what a weekend last weekend. I want to just give a big shout out to you because thank you so much for watching the divisional a video, the divisional predictions video, and it blew up. And, and I just want to thank you so much for watching that and commenting. There was a lot of comments. I loved interacting with each one of you. And so thanks so much. I went four for four last weekend, which I'm not surprised. You might be surprised, but I'm not surprised. And so I predicted the Bengals to beat the Bills. But can I just be honest with you? I did not predict the Bengals to blow out the Bills. That was insane. Uh, with the snow coming down. And what a huge victory. Um, that 49ers game was, and Dallas game was incredible. What a defensive battle. But Purdy outplaying Dak Prescott. That was so impressive. Um, that was just an incredible, incredible game to watch it was so close both teams were just flying on defense and then what a def uh what a what a the, the giants did they even show up like like i've told you guys they were frauds and this is what i was talking about when it comes to like contenders and pretenders definitely the giants were frauds they just are not good enough as a team i mean they made it this far so congratulations but the eagles just dismantled them right and then the chiefs were in control the whole game there was no real uh, nervousness there other than Mahomes injury that was kind of scary there so as we dive into these AFC NFC championship game predictions I just want to encourage you please hit that like and subscribe button I love making this kind of content for you okay so the big question that everyone's asking this week is who's going to the Super Bowl who's going to win these games uh, these all four of these teams are deserving they're absolutely deserving they're all they could all win the Super Bowl. They're that good. They're elite teams. And there is only going to be one team that's going to host, hoist that tro trophy. And um, and which one is it going to be? So let's just dive in. I'm not going to do any more preamble. But NFC Championship Game, 49ers at Eagles. Wow, this is going to be awesome. The Eagles have the home field advantage. And Philadelphia is going to be rocking. They're going to be playing Eye of the Tiger. It's going to be incredible. So the, the Eagles had no trouble at all against the Giants. and the, But this 49ers team, team is elite on so many levels. They are absolutely fantastic. So the biggest question going into this game is, can the 49ers stop, slow down, uh, the rushing attack versus this Philadelphia Eagles team. It seems like nobody can do that um, in the league. Now, the good news is the 49ers are literally the best team against the rush in the entire NFL. So if there's going to be a moment this can happen, it's right now. Um, Jalen Hurts, though, is a man on a mission. He is running all over the place. you got Miles Sanders coming out the backfield, Kenneth Gingwell. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, Jalen Hurts also has these two incredible wide receivers, A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, makes it dangerous. So he rushes, and then they get a couple extra seconds to get open, and that is absolutely fantastic. So um, that definitely goes to Philadelphia's advantage. The thing about the 49ers defense that everyone wants to talk about is Bosa and all these other players, but they're not giving enough credit to Wagner. That guy was unbelievable against Dallas, made massive plays. If he can continue to play like that, man, he is so, so good. Um, can Purdy, though, play well enough to win this game? The Cowboys slowed down CMC, and that's the thing. Is And then at the end, CMC broke loose, but can the Eagles do that? And But here's the thing about Purdy. Yes, he's 7-0. Um, yes, he's he's clutch and he seems really calm and he is really calm in the pocket. But he has all the weapons to be successful. When you when you throw into IU Debo Samuel and then you got the Kittle factor. Oh my goodness, that drive against Dallas, they call it the Kittle drive. That catch was next level and he's so pumped to be here and he's just an, an amazing amazing tight end. Um so my my question is 
as I, 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 I'm leaning though with the Eagles, and so I'm not really having a question there, but I'm leaning for with the Eagles is because of this. They have the number three defense in the NFL. Nobody talks about that. This team causes problems, causes turnovers, gets to the quarterback, and I think Purdy's going to have a rough day. Um, so he's doing his normal thing, and he's doing all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm picking the Eagles. I'm going for it. Okay, let's go to the AFC championship game, Bengals at Chiefs. Okay, so the biggest question coming into this game is, will Patrick Mahomes be healthy um, if healthy, we know that Mahomes can work his magic. He is absolutely fantastic. Um, and then there's the arrowhead factor. It, Kansas City, they do a great job of representing their team, cheering loud, causing that environment to be difficult. So the Chiefs have that run game that's effective as well. Um, one of the keys, though, to the Chiefs' offense, and everyone knows it, nobody can stop it, is this guy named Travis Kelsey. Maybe you heard of him. Uh, greatest tight end in the league, and probably the only next one that's as good as him is George Kittle right now. But, man, he is... It, they know it's going to him, they just can't stop it. So he might even be the greatest tight end of all time. Okay, so there. Th this is the thing. So the Bengals, though are not afraid of battling on the road. If you think about last year's playoffs, they won two home games on, oh no, road games. And one of those was in Arrowhead. They they won 27-23 against the Chiefs last year to go to the Super Bowl, end up losing in the Super Bowl. But um, they, they are so good. And Cool Joe is just so relaxed and calm, and it just feels like he was built for moments like this. He's, he's effective, he's... He's just fantastic. He's so good. And their wide receiver court is stacked. Are you talking Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd? Are you kidding me right now? And then they got Hunter Hurst. Uh, no. Jalen Hurst. No. Hayden Hurst. Hayden Hurst. And you still have Mixon coming out of the backfield. Like this team is built, seems like, for the playoffs. So what people are not talking enough about in this matchup is the defense of the Chiefs. They are coming into this game as the worst of the four teams that are available, okay? They can, they, the, the, can they hold up against the Bengals defense, or Bengals offense? And that's where I'm leaning, you know what, I don't think that they can. I mean, maybe they can find a way to scrap and, and fight and, and make some plays, but the reason why, though, I'm taking the Bengals in this game, and I don't even care if Patrick Mahomes was healthy because... I think it would have to be a shootout for the for the Bengals to win or the Bengals to lose this game. But Joe Burrow is a cold-blooded NFL killer. He's a winner. He he finds ways to win. He, and listen, if they go back to the Super Bowl, like now he's going to start getting the respect. If they win the Super Bowl, he's going to get the respect that he deserves. This guy is absolutely fantastic. Now, so I think that the Bengals are going to find ways to slow down the Chiefs, and I think that Joe Burrow is just going to take over, and they're going to win. I think they're going to win by seven. So, so I'm taking the Eagles and the Bengals to go to the Super Bowl, but I like watching Kansas City and the 49ers better. So I'm going with my head and not with my heart, and I'm picking Cincinnati versus Philadelphia in the big game. Now, what I want to know is, what do you think? I loved interacting with you guys last week. Please post in the comments who you think are going to win those two games. Put in the score. Have some fun with it. And, of course, please hit that like and subscribe button. And always remember, I could be wrong, but I highly doubt it. Y'all ready for this?